name is Matthew, and today I'm going to talk about the characteristics of a tennis racket. Now, how many, have been, how many of you in here play tennis? Nice, okay. So, some of you, you probably already know this, but for the rest of you, if you've never picked up a tennis racket, it could be important to know how to actually hold a tennis racket and some of the key characteristics that define the tennis racket. Now, on the board here, you can see that we've broken the tennis racket into three distinct areas. We've got the head, the throat, the handle, and the butt, the butt of the racket, which is essentially the flat bottom part. Now, the head, as you can see here, is egg-shaped. Uh, the, the reasons for that is to actually promote the sweet spot area of the racket head. Now, if I draw generally where the sweet spot is, it's like how you would expect. It's in this area right here. So when you make contact with the ball, the greatest precision and power will be generated in this region of the racket. The throw of the racket is not very interesting. It's essentially just transitioning to the handle. They're pretty much stock on all rackets. But when we get to the handle, there's multiple sizes and configurations you can have to tailor to your game. So the handle right now has three to four sizes. You have a quarter inch, three eighths inch, half inch, and you can go all the way up to five eighths inch. Now that's pertaining to the circumference of the handle itself. So the larger your hand is, the larger the handle you'll need. Now there's a general tip for sizing your racket. So take for instance, you go to shake someone's hand, you put your hand out. If you just place a racket straight, vertical, perpendicular to the ground, and you just grab the handle. When you grab the handle, your hand will wrap around, and generally what you would like is to take your index finger and you should have that amount of gap in the handle. And that would size your racket. My hand's generally pretty big, so I use pretty, pretty much the largest size, and I also put an overgrip over it. So there's multiple grips that you can put on a handle. Generally, the one that comes stock is plastered on there, and you probably don't want to take that off. But you can buy what's called overgrips, which essentially wrap around the handle to increase the dexterity of the handle. My hands sweat, so I need something that's going to be able to not be slippery when I use it. So that's general tips about the, the head of a racket. And next week, I'll go into talking about how to actually hold the racket for your specific shots. Thanks. <laughs>